Hi everybody, it's Sharon back in our kitchen and we're gonna make something today. Um, to, this is March, um, the snow has finally melted and we're seeing signs of green outside. So that makes me happy. I know it probably makes a lot of you happy too. We've been waiting a long time for green. And green is a sign of spring and one of the celebrations of spring uh, would be St. Patty's Day. And also spring has lots of rain. So what we're giving you as a kit to take home is a little rainbow with lots and lots of clovers dangling from it. So it kind of celebrates all of the things of spring. And this is something that you can pick up at our service desk or we'll add it to our menu and you can order one to have it come and pick it up. So in your kit, what you're gonna find is instructions, looks like this. And we have pre-cut a plate for you. And it is, you can talk with your child that this is an arch um, an arch underneath um, and then we have pre-cut a little hole in case you would like to hang your your craft or you can tape it to the window either or um, we'll have several strands of yarn and some clovers uh, the clovers you'll get in your kit are made of construction paper but they're uh, at the library right now and I'm in my kitchen so this is paper that's been colored green um, so you um, um, you'll also get some crayon stubs. Um, we don't really have the budget to give out brand new crayons to everybody, so you'll get some of the broken ones, but if you'd like to use your own, that's fine. So now, here we go. We want to start off with the colors of the rainbow. And you can tell your child that we always start with red. So you can color some red or let your child color the red. And you might even choose to use markers. And then the next color you would see in a rainbow is orange. And then orange goes under red. And the next color Hopefully I have it in here. I don't have a good one, but yellow. And then after yellow, we're going to color green. And again, this is just the green I've got. You'll get a more true green when you get the colors from the library bag. And then blue. And I did not include indigo in your library bag. We just finished off with violet. And why I say indigo is because you can teach your child the acronym to talk about the color spectrum, which is R O Y G B I indigo V, Roy G Bit. And that teaches you how to know the colors of the rainbow. So now you're going to take some yarn, and glue stick works pretty well for this. I'm get some of the glue stick. And I'm going to make sort of a glue sandwich. And attach your clover to the yarn by gluing it just like that. And you can do that randomly so that they look, like I said, just like they're dangling. Um, and then if you want, you can make a loop on the top to hang it. And now you'll notice the last piece here, these are clouds and we'll need them out of cotton balls. So you'll get cotton balls and then you can just stretch them out to make them look like puffy, fluffy, drifty um, strips of clouds. And also those go on very nicely with that glue stick. And 
And then you're going to attach your clovers. Now you might want to use tape to attach it, but the glue stick works just as well. So whatever you happen to have handy would work. And so that's how that's made. And that's what it looks like when it's all done. So I encourage you to stop by the library and pick yourself up one of these bags um, and have some fun with your child uh, making a rainbow with clovers for spring and for St. Patrick's Day. And that's all we've got. Thank you.